Amino acids are the building blocks of proteins, and our entire genome is coding for the expression and sequence of different amino acids. The reason they're called amino acids is because they have an amino group attached to a carboxylic acid. And you may hear the term alpha amino acid. All that that means is that the amino group is attached to the alpha carbon of this carboxylic acid. All of the human amino acids that you'll be encountering are going to be alpha amino acids. Something else that they may bring up uh, on the MCAT is the identity of an L amino acid. Remember that L and D from stereochemistry determine which way a molecule rotates plain polarized light. L means that it rotates the light counterclockwise. Now, you don't need to be able to look at the structure and determine whether it's an L or D amino acid. Just know that all of the amino acids that we encounter in nature are going to be L amino acids. Those are the ones that form the proteins that we use in the human body. And we don't have to analyze the structure of these in order to figure out how it rotates that light. Another interesting thing is that we usually like to draw amino acids with this particular structure, with an H2N group over here on the amino group and a COOH on the carboxylic acid group. In reality, they never actually exist in this form. They're always charged in one way or another. In an acidic environment, the amino group will pick up an extra proton and become positively charged. So in a more acidic environment, amino acids are diprotic, they're cations with a hydrogen here and a hydrogen there. At their PI, their isoelectric point, or their neutral level, they are a zwitter ion. And remember that a zwitter ion means that it has both a positive and negative charge on the same molecule. This is a very typical form that we use in order to identify and separate amino acids when we're running various tests. And in a basic environment, it ends up losing the proton from a carboxylic acid, and so it turns into the anionic form of the amino acid. So notice that all three of the forms you actually see in nature are all charged in various ways.